students, you all know that plants are our saviors. Plants need certain medium to grow and soil is that resource which provides the plants with essential nutrients and minerals. Different types of plants, they require different type of soil for their growth. Now, soil is classified on the basis of their types, their texture and nature. The question is, how can we find the nature of the soil? It's very simple. Today we will try to find out the nature of the soil by a very simple test. Now see, here I've already collected sample from two different sources. What we will do is that we'll take a test tube, we'll put some soil in it. and we'll pour water into it. Shake it and keep it for a while. For this test we will make use of pH paper which has a range of 1 to 11. You can use a broader range 3 to 10 also. Let's take the paper. We'll dip it into this solution. See, the color of the pH strip has changed. Let's compare this color with this pH chart and see what type of soil sample is this. Here, it's coming around 9. Yes, it's 9. Okay. Now this pH chart has the values from 1 to 11. Say if the color comes out to be green, then it is neutral. It's blue, violet or indigo. Then it is alkaline. Our sample, it's blue coming with pH 9. So it is alkaline. alkaline. Had it been the color range between yellow, red or orange, then it would have been acidic. Can we use litmus paper for testing the nature of soil? See, in that case, it will only give us whether the soil is acidic or alkaline. We won't come to know about the neutral part of it. So that is why we use this pH paper. And you know, this test is very helpful in field of agriculture like if the soil sample is acidic you know acidic soil it retards the growth of the plant by decreasing the efficiency of the roots to absorb minerals from the soil that means alkaline soil also retards the growth of plants yes you're absolutely right alkalinity it increases water logging so in that case also the growth of the plant is retarded this means this testing the nature of soil is very helpful to the farmer as well as the gardener. Yeah, it is very helpful because if before sowing the seed or planting the plant in the garden, he knows the nature of the soil, he can treat the soil accordingly. Like if it is more acidic or more alkaline, he can treat it first and then sow it.